Now, Russia has sentenced a pediatrician to five and a half years in prison for anti-war stance. As per reports, during a medical appointment, Nadizem Bovine told a young boy that his father was killed while fighting Ukraine deserved to die. The punishment relies in a part on the testimony of the seven-year-old boy whose mother earlier said that she wasn't in the room to hear the doctor's comment but changed her account a month later. The case has exemplified the level of repression in Russia and how common denunciations have become while the country's troops fight in Ukraine. Russia is building up infantry and armored vehicles while stepping up aerial bombardments ahead of planned attacks along Ukraine's southern fronts. And this as per a Kiev military spokesperson, he said that Russians have been preparing for some time, for several weeks, to conduct assault operations in several directions, specifically in the Zaporizhia direction. He said that the Russian troops were focusing on the areas around Vermivka, Gradiopol and Robotien. He declined to say how many Russian troops had congregated along the sprawling front, but said small groups of Russian forces were launching several attacks each day on Ukraine. Escalated fighting in the Zaporizhia region would pose a major threat to Ukrainian forces, which are losing ground in the eastern Donetsk region and also in the Russian border region of Kursk. The U.S. said that North Korean troops have begun engaging in combat operations alongside Russian troops. Principal Deputy Spokesperson for the U.S.'s Department of State, Vedant Patel, said that over 10,000 DPRK soldiers have been sent to eastern Russia and most of them have moved to the far western Kursk region. Well, even as the Ukrainian army is on the back foot against advancing Russian forces, a recent survey shows that majority of Ukrainians, they oppose ceding any land captured by Russia in exchange for peace. The Kiev International Institute of Sociology carried out the survey a month before the election of Trump, whose victory has rekindled fears that the U.S. will focus and rather will force Ukrainians into giving up the land. It said 58% Ukrainians opposed any territorial concessions in its ongoing war against Russia.